Hello singers, vocal coaches, guitar players, guitar instructors, bass players, drummers, piano players, violinists, and more. Welcome to my app, Tuned XD. I'm vocal coach Jamie Vendera, and for years I wanted an app that was an all-in-one multi-purpose musician's tool for helping my students and helping teachers train their students. So when we conceptualized this app, we wanted a metronome, a stopwatch, a two-track recorder, a scale generator, an intonation trainer, and the most awesome tuner in the world. And finally, we have just that. I've partnered with Drums XD, and together we've created Tuned XD. And this is a mini tutorial to walk you through the app so you understand exactly how it works. So let's get started. Alright singers, so we're getting ready to load to XD. I did turn off the lights so you can actually see this app better because it's bright enough as it is. You'll see in a minute, as soon as I touch the actual app, boom! We're loading and there we go. You can see it's giving off uh, some glare even when I got the screen turned down. Now this is uh, default, the chromatic tuner. This is great for tuning your guitar or for practicing intonation exercises for singers. You can see there's a piano at the top covering all 12 keys and you see little buttons moving around as I'm speaking. They're going from red to yellow to green, just like a stoplight. Uh, red, you're way off pitch, you gotta stop. Yellow, you're getting close, or green, you're dead on, you can go. Um, so that does help to guide you, and if you know the name, note names of the piano, that's uh, very helpful. As well, you have that frequency audio waveform generator in the middle. Uh, that is amazing because it covers both frequency and amplitude and the closer you get to the pitch the thinner it will get as well we can check our intonation at the bottom up with that tuner slash pitch wheel functions as both I'll show you the pitch wheel in a minute um, you can see that the wheel is spinning and whatever note I'm speaking or singing will come to the top and then you'll see that little arrow which is moving around the edge of the wheel it'll go from red to yellow to green. When it's dead center, it's green. That will move uh, plus or minus uh, 50 cents. Even though we're registered to 40 here what, with what you can see, um, you can check the cents right below that big uh, number and name in the middle. You can see it's like an A2. Hey! There we jump to C sharp 4, C4. And that's actually telling me that my note name and what octave I'm in. And right below it, it has the sense. Also, it'll say tuned when you're actually in tune. It'll light up on the bottom. Now, to the left and right of the tuner, you're going to see two readouts. To the left, you see a frequency readout in hertz. tells you exact frequency if you're working with that. Uh, if you want to know the decibels, uh, to the right, you can see right now it's around 45, 48, 59, 63. It's jumping around in decibels because it is very accurate. It's not set at a meter like most uh, decibel meters are, but it is uh, very, very accurate at 18 inches telling you your precise uh, you know, decibel. And I have checked it with myself for breaking glass, and it is very accurate. Now, uh, if you want to use the pitch wheel, which a lot of my singers do. You just tap this button at the bottom. Bam! It takes over the whole screen. We still have fave at the top, but now you have a pitch wheel. You can hit it and you can change the octave. You can come down to here. You come to here. You can move around and you can see as I hit a note, bam, it comes to the very top. It tells you what the note is. It also tells you what you're singing. And I can also hit this and hold it. Hey! And it'll adjust. It'll show you when you're in tune. You also have a right down here in this corner it'll tell you uh, what note you're singing. Boom. Um, let me jump back up here. And then you can also, just to show you, you can slide it up. And this will tell you what pitch you're singing. You hit this for, if you're doing sustain exercises like I do in isolation, you can hold along with that. You can have a quick reference to get you there and you sing right along. You check all your frequency checkings. Uh, the fave, your hertz right there. You look in the middle, that's the note name, but you look down here in the bottom left and you can see exactly what note you're singing. You watch that little arrow, it's moving around. So it is the ultimate pitch wheel. It does actually cover seven full octaves. Most pitch wheels you get are only of course, you know, uh, one octave, but you can also change this. A lot of you like uh, the C to C pitch wheel. You can change it to F to F, and um, you can change the sound theme if you want to use different sounds. Pitch pipe, clarinet, voice, flute, and we'll add more as we go. You can also adjust the volume. Now, let's jump back over here. Let's uh, go back up to the tuner. And uh, guitarists, you might want something a little more. You know, this is really cool. You can see the piano. You can see the fave in the middle, the frequency audio waveform generator. But maybe you want to see strings. So we slide the screen to the left. Bam! There's a screen. I've been playing around with this. It's actually uh, six strings actually set in standard tuning, but I've been playing around with it this morning. Uh, right now it's set on drop D. But you can change everything about this. It's so awesome. This is the perfect way to tune your guitar. You can uh, pluck a string. Like if you're in drop D, we'll explain uh, standard. Let's go over to standard now. 
Let's go over here. If we jump over here, uh, we're in guitar six string. Let's go up, make sure we are in standard. We'll go back. I'll explain that again to you here in a minute. So here we are, E, A, D, G, B, E. It's your standard six string guitar. You pluck your low E string. That E string on this app will vibrate. And the note name above it will change color from red to yellow to green. As well, fave in the middle of the waveform will thin out. It'll, it'll smooth out. And you can check at the bottom. You can watch your pitch at the bottom with that live tuner. You can check the frequency, then hertz to the left. You can watch the wheel spin, and you can look right here to say, see the note name. Uh, and let's go back over here. If you touch that guitar head, you can change to, say, violin. You can change to anything you want. You come over to violin. It's only got one standard, G, D, A, E. But let's go back to six string. If you go to six string, that's what I love about six string. There's so many different tunings. Full step down, half step down, drop B, drop C. We got uh, uh, modal. We got open tunings. We got some crazy tunings, new standard, dobro tuning, pentatonic. So uh, you can change that. Let's even do that. Let's go to, um, let's just pick open A minor. Boom. As soon as you go back over, E, A, E, A, C, E. So then you have your strings, what their names are. Especially, you know, not knocking any guitar players because I'm sure you know this, but if you're a beginner and you're like, I, I want to tune and open or drop D, but I don't know what the strings should be named. You know, I just know that, you know, my favorite band plays in drop D. Well, you use this app, Tuned XD, and it'll tell you. And then you tune right along and you're ready to go. So with that said, I think it's time to move on to to the intonation trainer glass breaker. All right, it's time for the glass breaker intonation trainer. So I actually touch this little wine glass on here and bam, there we are. Now we designed this because I'm known for shattering glass. I hold the world record. I'm the first documented singer to prove this on film. But if you've watched any of my shows, you know that uh, anytime I break a glass, it may not be perfect pitch. It may not be a 440. It may be 440.678. Uh, so glasses, they are a little funny, but for the sake of this app, I didn't want that. I wanted dead on a 440 tuning for all 12 notes so that you could uh, actually learn and make sure that your intonation is spot on when you're singing. So there's no sense in, you know, having variable wine glasses jumping all over the place. And you can see you can, uh, you can flick the wine glass. You can see Faye working. You can rub your finger on the screen, and um, you can actually set, if you want to practice, because I'm telling you, this can help you break glass. If you read my book, Raise Your Voice, and you practice with this, it will help. When I first got this app, I hadn't broken glasses in a few months. I actually worked on uh, glasses on here. I set it to about 110 decibels, maybe it was 105, and I only set it at five seconds. It actually goes from 40 uh, to 120 decibels and two seconds to 30. But I thought, oh, I'll take it kind of easy. And I did that from tenor C up to about soprano G. I came downstairs, I grabbed a couple wine glasses, the Shot Sweezel wine glasses, and I broke each of them in under 10 seconds. And let me tell you, it's hard. Uh, and, you know, I've broken hundreds of these glasses, but they still scare me every time. But that was the first time I had, like, total confidence. I just did it like I did the app, and it actually strengthened my voice. So uh, let's give it a try. Let's, uh, we can spin the wheel. We can change the wine glass shape. We're going to do something simple. Hey, and I want to show you um, that you can actually... Let me set that down to 40 decibels, 2 seconds. Let me turn it on. Now it's ready to go. And you can be in any octave. So if I go... Hey, you can shatter it, and you'll see it gives you a star rating. Uh, I only got three and a half stars, so I must really suck. <laughs> Actually, the designers did make it really, really intense. You have to be dead on, and it's tough for me. You know, I've got four and a half stars. I've never gotten five stars on this. So uh, let me try something a little higher. Let's go back, and let's, um, let's change it. Let's go back to here. Oops, I hit the, I have the pitch wheel. Sorry about that. Okay, now what I want to do is give a high. Let me even go a little higher. I hope that I don't kind of freak you out. But this is how I do break glass. It's a nasty sound. So let's rub it to make sure we got it. All right, here we go. And there you go. So you can do it in any octave that you want to do. And hey, I sucked even more on that. It was only three stars. So I guess better get to practicing with this app. Now, this is a fun game. Have fun with it. But really, 
it will train your voice to be better dead on. You know, I have a lot of singers like, hey, I'm singing flat, I'm singing sharp. Of course, we work on, you know, uh, vocal technique with breathing support and placement. But using this and using that tuner at the bottom in tandem with the glasses and learning to sustain longer and longer as you go will help to improve your pitch, your intonation. And it will improve your power too, and maybe you'll be shattering glasses before long. So let's move on to the scale generator. All right, I've already clicked the little triplet uh, icon in the icon bar to move me to the scale generator. And though I love the glass breaker, the scale generator is by far my most favorite thing on this thing. Well, it's kind of close with that pitch wheel because it is the ultimate pitch wheel. So with the scale generator, uh, you can actually select a pre-programmed scale. You can go over here and um, you can see that right now we've put in tons of piano scales, modes. We have a chromatic scales, major, minor, phrygian, mixolydian, locrian, just anything. If you're a piano player, guitar player, you want to learn your modes, it's there and it's also useful for uh, singers too. I've also put in Vendera vocal scales, some scales that I use, including some stuff that I, I was trained by Jim Gillette and uh, other vocal coaches as well. Uh, I've put in isolation scales for my book, Sing Fit, Raise Your Voice, Raise Your Voice 2. I put in some vibrato scales. And of course, uh, at the bottom, we have the vocal power scales by Jim Gillette. Um, so, you know, let's go to, we'll go to isolation scale and we'll pick uh, a basic siren. And we go back over. I can have the metronome playing. Now, why it's playing so weird, just so you know, you got to come back over here. You have a turnaround scale and turnaround session. Turnaround scale will actually allow you to expand that, um, that scale. So we have over 70 scales in here. Really, you have over 140 now because you can do a mirror image. So if I'm going da-da-da, you can go da-da-da-da-da. So it'll come back down to the bottom. It just repeats that pattern before moving up a half a step. So if I leave it off... And let me come up here because it's only going to play one. It's a defaulted C3 to C4, so we're good to go. If I go back and I play it again. Now, if I want to change the metronome setting, I just click the metronome button, come into metronome, and I can change that, plus or minus, removing the wheel. And I come back over here, bam. Now, again, if I want to change it and make it turn around, let me do that again. There you go. You see that's played a mirror image of the scale that we just did. Now, uh, there's many things. If you turn around the session, what that means is when you work up to your top note. So I've got this set. The range is from C3, which is an octave below middle C, to go all the way to C4, uh, which is a middle C. And then it would stop. But if I turn around the session, it's going to work all the way back down to the beginning note, to the starting notes. Uh, as well, you can do scale reps. So say if you want to do... Uh, four sirens on the same pitch uh, we can change that we can go let's go to we'll go to three sirens and we'll go back to there I'm not going to turn around the scale turn around the session even if I'm not going to work up let me try this again and you can see it'll turn around now, if you don't like that metronome sound, you can turn it off. We do have a sound theme. Right now, we only have bright piano in here, but we will be adding more sounds as we go along. So that is the scale generator in a nutshell. Plus, you have your tuner. It's always a functional with any of these icons in the icon bar. That way, you could always check your intonation or your tuning as you're playing. So let's move on to the two-track recorder. All right, let's jump over to the two-track recorder by hitting this. Uh, why did I create a two-track recorder? You know, we, we don't want to do a DAW for one thing, but uh, one track just wasn't enough. When I grew up in the 80s and I had no vocal coach, uh, we had these things. If you read the advanced uh, manual that you can you can download, the PDF with this uh, tune next to you, you've already heard the story. But um, I grew up um, wanting to learn to sing, but I didn't have no instruction, so I had a couple jam boxes, a couple cassette players. Those are what we had back in the 80s. So I put my cassette of Def Leppard or Wham. I'm sure I did a lot of different artists back then, Rick Springfield. And I would play it in one. I'd put a blank cassette in the other, and I would record myself singing along. 
and I would work to finish the song to try to get it as perfect as possible. Well, nowadays, a lot of singers don't do that, especially in the studio. So I wanted to create this two-track recorder so you could import a song from like your iPhone, your iTunes, iPod library, or you could record the scale. You could hit your scale generator, push play, come over to the two-track recorder and record your scale, and then save them to Tuned XD or email them to yourself so you have them. So you can record or import a song onto track one or track two, and then you switch to another track and you can sing a right along with it so you can check to see how you sound. Now this isn't for you to parrot the artist, but just so you can grow and you can listen to when you're flat, when you're breathy, so you can pick out, nitpick your own voice so you can uh, smooth out you know, the problem areas and work on your strengths and eliminate those weaknesses. So it's really easy to use. It's a very basic recorder. You just hit record. You can hear it, see it recording. The same buttons, the record and stop button, bam. As soon as I hit stop, it comes up, save recording. You can name it and you can save it. I'm not going to save it. You can delete it. Uh, then you come over to here and uh, there's so many things you can do. Uh, if you recorded something you didn't like it, you can unload the track. Boom, it's unloaded. Shoot you, shoot you back over there. If you want to load music from your iPod, iPhone, boom. There you go. You can grab anything that's in there. You can load a recording that you've previously recorded uh, that you've done on Tuned XD. As well, you can email the track. Uh, it says unable to export track. That's because there's nothing in the track right now. So um, you come down here. You can arm each recorder, and you need to do that because if you have them both armed, they're both going to be recording at the same time. Uh, you can mute one track if you want to. You know, just mute. That's, we just put that in there in case you did want to do it and do a speaking part and add music to the other part. You can change the volume. You know how sensitive it is, and you can even add a little reverb to your voice to help sweeten the mix if it makes you feel a little better. We wanted to slip that in there. It's kind of a, kind of a, a teaser. I'm not going to say what's coming up, but just stay tuned. There's more from the XD line coming soon. So that's your basic two-track recorder, and uh, I think it's a very, very important tool. You can have it with you if you're jamming with a friend or um, you, know, you want to check yourself singing and get better. It's right there for you to use. Now we're going to move on to the stopwatch Tabata timer. All right, musicians, singers, it's time to work on our timing, our metronome timing, our sustained timing, and all of that. I want to sum up the stopwatch, the metronome, in this uh, brief tutorial here. Um, when you hit the timer uh, icon in the icon bar, you load first what's called the Tabata timer. We also have a stopwatch. But the Tabata timer is a very unique timer that I use in my book, The Air and Water Diet. It's based on the Tabata protocol. And with the Tabata protocol, you do eight rounds or eight sets of working out for 20 seconds and resting for 10 seconds. It could be push-ups, it could be jumping a rope, anything. And it gets your heart rate up and it's supposed to work you out better than you know walking on a treadmill for 40, 45 minutes. So uh, you, can, you can change these. You know, you have that prep time, which is five seconds. I can go up here and hit that. If I want to make it longer, or if I want to you know do it one at a minute, you can hit the plus. If I want to do, you can go back. So this adjusts the seconds, that adjusts the minute. If I come down here, boom, there's a minute and 20 seconds. I can move the seconds around, come down to the rest period, same thing, there's a minute and 10, boom. And you can set it, you can also change the sets by attaching that. Go one at a time, we're doing really quick. If I want the uh, stopwatch, I come over to here, hit the stopwatch, back, over in the corner, bam, there it is. Simple, start, stop, stopwatch. Hit the toggle button, boom, it starts. And I'll let you know you're working because it's vibrating. Stop it, bam, hit it again. Reset it, bam, hit that down there. Now, if you come over here to the metronome, uh, simple metronome, start, stop, metronome, you toggle on the top. You have 11 time signatures. You touch that little circle down there. It's on 4 4. It makes that circle up here white. You can run this around to change what time signature, or you can hit the plus or minus to change it. There are 11 time signatures. You want to go back and change that tempo. We're in 6-8 now. It's 120. See what that sounds like. There it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I want to make it slower. Go that way. Want to zero in. There we go. And that's basically it. Stop it. Hit it there. And that is Tuned XD in a nutshell. I can promise you we're going to add more as we go along. But this is the most amazing tool for practicing musicians, singers who want to do vocal scales set to their range so they don't have to use pre-recorded tracks that are either too low or too high for them or too fast or too slow for them. 
And, um, you know, any musician who wants to own their chops and better their musicianship, this is the app for you, especially for tuning your guitar. Like I said, there's no guitar tuner out there as accurate as this. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and we will see you soon. If you need more information, check out TunedXD.com as well as DrumsXD.com so you can see the other app by our designers. And if you need products from me, go to JamieVendera.com, J-A-I-M-E-V-E-N-D-E-R-A.com or VenderaVocalAcademy.com. See ya.